hello guys welcome back again to gff so today i'm going to show you the best buttons or setup to play your truck simulator on an automatic uh, driving transmission all right so to be brief so what i'm going to start with is the mouse i hope you have a programmable mouse meaning you have two side buttons so the first button i'm going to talk about is this one I want you to program it in the uh, settings so you can turn right and left up and down so basically you just have to move the mouse and you will look wherever you want it's so much practical when you want to turn right and left with in, in addition with another button I'm going to show you later I'm going to give you later on an example of how you can use this one and another button to seamlessly turn right and left yeah so this is the first one this second is right close to it you're going to program the second close button for zoom in right so if you press both of them you can easily check your dashboard check signs on the highway or your GPS you can do a lot of stuff with the zoom in button you can also zoom on your mirrors super helpful to prevent any damages to your truck especially when you're trying to park in a very tight spot so what I want to talk about next is that you definitely have to drive your truck with your mouse there's no say about it that is the correct method to approach your truck simulator or American truck simulator and um, if you can afford the wheel that's great but if you can't then I highly recommend that you drive with your mouse it adds to the realism so much so now for the two remaining buttons for right and left you will uh, you will program it so you can look left when you click left and right when you click right why so that I'm going to give you an example right now that I mentioned earlier so I'm going to make a seamless right turn right now I'm going to click on this button and then I'm just gonna turn pretty seamless so here I am going to do it again it takes a little bit of practice you can easily think that you've lost control but that's not the case so what I want you to do is to just get on your point and stop right here right you're going to look left and start driving and turn your mouse right at the same time and that is it well now for the next thing I want to talk about I mean obviously there's going to be uh, depends if you have QWERTY or AZERTY I have AZERTY so it's going to be W for you to go forward for QWERTY if you have AZERTY it's going to be Z and S to stop for signals D for right Q for left and if you have QWERTY I guess it's A A for left yeah and for hazard slide it's going to be an F very practical and for horn it's going to be G don't program anything on your mouse related to scroll button it just makes it awkward if you can do it that's great but for me I'm not then in automatic driving I put realism on the transmission so shift for up control to downshift so I'm programming out for the windshield wipers very practical space to park I also did V for differential I think V is by default differential for those who don't know what differential means it's when you have a very heavy load on an uphill it turns out all of the power in your engine and C it's for control cruise press it once and you're going to keep the same speed so I program a tab for the stronger lights to flash in case of I don't know danger and stuff and I also program greater or smaller for the stronger lights to be permanent it's practical when it's heavily raining 
or there's a, a lot of fog and also for the hazardous light i put g when you press g it's going to eliminate it's much closer and much more practical and for the wheels support i did h and here the wheels goes back again to the ground for more grip and power so basically this is it uh, for the automatic uh, settings if i'm not forgetting anything that is it guys i hope you enjoyed the video please do subscribe like and comment nothing is impossible later no what are you waiting for do it